Hi everyone, welcome to ProVisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can place and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and, very often, an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset not only for you, but also for business owners. So say goodbye to the never-ending revisions and instead, spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed clothing brand, which includes a logo, a bit of text, color palettes, and various shapes. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action and give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of a woman's t-shirt. I think this one is what we need. Let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. This is how the default setup of the mock-up looks like. The fabric and seams are so extremely detailed. They look incredible. Such attention to details is rare to find. Now let's add the design to the t-shirt. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design layout in another editor. I've prepared a few design elements. Let's add the first one. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. It's amazing how easy it is in Pro Visual. Now we will turn the model around and we'll add the design to the back side of the t-shirt. Click on the Add Image button to do this. We will place our design based on the UV map. Great. Save the design. Next, I'm going to add the design to the sleeves, clicking again on the Add Design button at the Design Layers panel. Here, we also align our design with the UV map and the 3D model preview on the left. You can change the opacity to see the edges of the UV map better and place your design more accurately. Great. Let's set the opacity at its original position and save the design. Now we need to add a splash of color to our t-shirt. Let's do it. On the design panel, select the background layer to make it active. Now I'm going to change the color of the outer side. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. Now I will copy this material and will apply it to the inner side. Like this. Moving on to the collar. Select the background layer to make it active. Let's make it dark.
I'll also add darker shades to the seams on the t-shirt. Looks great. I like it. Now I'll show you how you can edit the material of the design. Let's select the design layer on the design layers panel. In the materials gallery, I'm going to look for some unusual material. Here's a nice one. Let's apply it. In the materials settings, we will reduce the texture size and add more volume to the design. ProVisual has this wonderful bevel feature that can help us create voluminous elements. Let's give it a shot. This design is quite unique, and I really like it. Let's spice things up with a cool background to really show off our work to the client. We have lots of pre-made background options in ProVisual. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear, or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you, or add your own image. Let's add one. In ProVisual, you can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. Rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Save your client's money by using ProVisual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media, or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating t-shirt mock-up design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.